Hey guys, it's me. Oh, I don't even know. My flash is on. Well, I guess it is kind of dark. Yeah, that kind of messed up stuff. Anyway, my name is Mad Mad Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you my top five favorite Transformer, uh, Transformer. My top five favorite Transformers in my entire drawer of Transformers. Now, you guys may be think thinking, oh, <laughs> You guys may be thinking that this is a random video, but actually there's some reason behind it, and it starts off with Doombase, um, a friend in the community, a small community of ours. Uh, he recently reached 40 subscribers, and then he made a video that he deleted for some reason, but he made a video shout, like, watching some of his older videos, and at the end of it, he gave me, Stitch, uh... Uh, single circuit and uh, and fetch some shout outs uh, so one of, he also shouted me out I don't know if I've already mentioned that but that's kind of the reason this all started because I made then I made a video on my channel that you may or may not have seen of me thanking him for the shout out and then um, single circuit commented on it saying that uh he saw some of his like stop motions of uh his transformers uh of uh doom bases transformers and i was like oh i that's cool i have uh i have like an entire drawer of like transformer action figures and he's like he does too so i was like oh that, that'd be cool if i made a video on it so i told him and you know now i'm making a video on it so yeah, I'm gonna make a video on it. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. I sound like such an idiot. Okay, go into the first one. We're starting off with my favorite one. And this is just because of nostalgia and memories. Now, this was, I'm pretty sure, my first ever, like, Transformer action figure. And this guy is really easy. You just gotta, like, split his legs apart. And then, uh... Turns into Bumblebee. So I always thought that this guy was really cool. And also, I have a lot of memories with him since he is my first Transformer. And then, yeah, he turns back into a car. Now, my second one was uh, this one. I don't remember how to transform. And this guy's like an off brand, so he's not like an actual Transformer. I forgot to transform this dude. All I remember is that, like, he transforms into, like, a, he transforms into, like, a T-Rex. And then a story I have to go with this guy that I remember is that I had this carpet when I was little, and it looked like a city. And, um, this dude came with a sword. I don't know if I could find it. So, if I oh, oh, my gosh, look here. This is the exact sword that I use. Um, and you may be wondering, why, what did I use it for? Well, somehow this dull thing, I figured out how to cut through the carpet using like like this dull thing. It's so like dull. Like it doesn't even like leave a scratch on the plastic. That's how dull it is and like I could just rub my finger against it. Yeah, it was like strong enough to cut through carpet and I was like still a little kid. So it's not like I was a I was like applying much force to it i was like like the hardest i could go was like like that and i don't know how that like cut through anything but i i managed to cut through the carpet using this and i don't think i got in too much trouble but yeah but i remember that this guy can turn into a like a t-rex or something so he's pretty cool and then there's a different theme throughout the video that I really like my bumblebees. So this guy is definitely my favorite. I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure my mom got this off of a website or something. Um, because it is missing. Like, it's it's always been missing this, by the way. It's always had this missing door. Like, like even the first day I ever got it, it was missing that door. Um, I don't even know. Did I find it? Or, like, did it come? doesn't 
You know what? I don't know. I think I might have it. I'm pretty sure I saw it earlier. I don't know. I don't know if I have it or not. I think I might have it, but um, yeah, this has it. This doesn't have the door to it. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna take the time to transform this dude. Um, but all I need to know is that it's a bumblebee. And this was this or the other bumblebee was the first one, and then also he comes with this little weapon. And you could and uh, you made be noticing, noticing, noticing these like little logos of like the Optimus Prime logo. Well, there's actually this app I used to have, and I don't know if some of you guys might know this, but there's this like uh, Transformers app where you could scan these and like they'd load into your game. So that's really cool. So, moving on to the next one, uh, is our Shark Boy. I got this dude at SeaWorld, actually. SeaWorld San Antonio. Cool place. It's been a while since I've been there, but, you know, fond memories of there. Uh, it's mostly because I was a little kid. I'm sure there's some stuff that I didn't see because... Apparently, there was, like, this... I, I saw this on a YouTube short. I don't even know if it's real or fake, but, like, this dolphin, like, killed its owner at SeaWorld. We don't need to be getting into that right now. But, um... Like, it wasn't... Yeah, it was a dolphin. Uh, but, yeah. So, this is just a shark transformer I got at SeaWorld. Uh... Yeah, there's not much to say to it. This guy is also pretty hard to transform. There's a lot of stuff you have to do like you have to like literally extend his legs and they're extending right now but you know i think it's a little far from me to like, 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 like pulling on it just, like stuff to make it look normal i don't know what my last one is because that's four right so you have the first bumblebee one then you have the red one then that and then you have the shark i have one more and i don't know what my favorite is I think it's probably this frog thing, and this has, like, the evil Optimus Prime thing on it. That doesn't even look like Optimus Prime. I don't know what the villain is for Transformers. I know that Optimus Prime is the good guy, and there's usually some, like, you know, bad robots or something. This guy turns into a frog. Oh my gosh, I just popped his wheel off. I remember doing that a lot. It's really easy to put back on, though. Eh. Fixing cars. And then he turns into this frog with sharp teeth. Scary. <laughs> it's so scary, bro. But yeah, that's it. That's just this. I want to give a huge shout out to Doom Base, Doom Base Studios or Doom Base Productions. I'm pretty sure it's Doom Base Productions. Uh, I want to give a shout out to him for giving a shout out to me because that he kind of like made this video happen and then also a shout out to single circuit because he's also the one that uh you know kind of inspired me to do this because uh he's the one that said you saw the stop motion videos that were by doom base so yeah that's it for today's video thanks on 80 subscribers 20 more and we'll be at a hundo and yeah that's really it stay tuned for future content Oh, also, sorry the movie got delayed so much. Uh, there's a certain, there's a few parts in the movie that we're planning uh, on filming, and we don't really know when to go to that place because it's my mom's friend's house. And, um, yeah. So, we don't really know, and then, um, it's gonna be a lot more like, like, comedy to it, this is, it's mainly a comedy, like, there might be, like, one killing scene, but it's not gonna be as, like, horror comedy as the last one, it's just gonna be comedy with, like, horror characters, uh, but, you know, there might be, like, one or two killing scenes, but that's really it, it's not gonna be as serious, it's just gonna be funny, even though I know I'm not funny, I'm gonna try to make it funny, but, that's it for today's video. Bye.
I'm alright. <laughs>